Um, I have a... Um, good morning, good afternoon, good night, good whatever. I have uploaded uh, a video where I speak of politics and I have some clear-cut opinions about politics, these opinions are a result of a lot of researching and surfing the, the web. I'm trying to keep an open mind and check with the facts. Are we better are we, or uh, worse? Uh, whatever. Uh, try to think that most of the times uh, people have vested interests and uh, whoever uh, gives you information uh, maybe um, uh, has a hidden agenda. My hidden agenda is well, if it's hidden, I'm not gonna say. Uh, but I'll tell you something. Uh, why I do not uh, upload videos about uh, languages? Because I think that most of the times on the web, and specifically on YouTube, people uh, face language learning not as a branch of uh, psychology with a social implication because language is a social structure. So, uh, uh, but they face um, language learning like um, most of the time uh, an intellectual exercise like a hobby like uh, showing off a way of boasting uh, to impress other people and I think you know what uh, I have more a more naturalistic approach to languages and I say languages uh, are an expression of also of a society, in spite of what I uh, like Esperanto, uh, but uh, that another kettle of fish is also an expression of uh, um, a kind of approach to social international relations. And, uh, and uh, for that matter, uh, Esperanto, for the most part, the learners. Uh, encourage learning also other languages but um, they don't give um, um, any languages uh, a, co a sort of priority and I like that so uh, so people um, tend to think that uh, first of all uh, People who speak many languages have a talent. I don't believe that. I don't believe in talent. And the only talent I believe in is the ability of people to um, make the most of their time and have a rational, intelligent approach to whatever they do. Uh, I have been successful in things I really uh, didn't... Um, like so much I didn't have a, a flair or whatever for but uh, the moment I Im immerse myself I get into something uh, I try to do that uh, very very in a very intensive way uh, without being a fan because a fanatic because I don't like fanatism uh, I don't like religions, I don't like uh, simplistic approach to things. And um, people who are very, very uh, good at analyzing the way language, language learning works language learning it can be uh, yeah you can learn your you learn your first language you can um, learn a second or a third language more or less the same way you learned the first uh, or you can uh, have an approach more a more um, theoretical you start from material uh, but you don't learn through dealing with other people in real life or even on Skype or that matter that if a person is speaking to you uh, and you see the, the image 
it's almost like real life. Uh, so, uh, a lot of people uh, learn languages and uh, it become um, an end in itself. They want to they learn many languages to impress other people, to become an internet phenomenon and then to sell their courses that basically uh, having learned or having shown through videos something that looks like you know the language but you are not uh, exposed to any control check control not check uh, but uh, is not a, a guarantee that impressing other people is not that I know something about languages I know how to learn languages well what I know obviously it's also what I read about other studies by uh, uh, experts and uh, through statistics We're trying to have a more scientific um, approach with uh, where you check and double check the results and um, I go for that. I don't go for single people trying to sell themselves and make a living through uh, basically uh, methods that panders to people who don't want to uh, think, don't want to sp spend time. Because I don't say you have to learn a language through learning, uh, like you learn uh, history or geography or mathematics, but Surely, uh, it takes time for the mind to develop a new whole system. Time and a lot of exposure to the language and a lot of people under, uh, underestimate, it, underestimate the passive part and overestimate the active part. So what happens is that you want to uh, people tend to do that immediately, they don't have patience in this society uh, and uh, they want to speak the language because speaking the language impresses uh, other people more than being able to understand. Uh, also because you can uh, fake your uh, ability to understand uh, while speaking it's more difficult. Anyway, uh, people want to speak the language immediately. I'm sipping coffee without sugar. And they are frustrated. Basically because they want to eat more than what they can chew. Basically, I understand that well, there come a point where you need to speak. But uh, also listening, listening, listening is very, very important. Makes, lays the ground, makes everything easier. So, I said, well, uh, teaching uh, languages for schools is basically a lost cause. Schools don't want the student to have all the means to be independent. So, uh, unluckily, the system is flawed because it doesn't encourage. Um, effective learning and in independence but creates people who are dependent on teachers teacher become teachers become more and more smart 
for themselves because they feel they have this power because they know the language I'll tell you something I think that for the same level of knowledge and I, uh, let's say I speak Italian, I do and I master the language, I do let's say another per person speaks Italian and masters the language but he Italian was not um, his or her first language I, th I would say this person has more is more aware of the works of the language and uh, if this person is an English speaker I would say that he's more able capable than I am to teach Italian also because a person who has been in the process of learning the language up to that level loves language he made it is more confident that students can make it and uh, learning a second language on a high level or a near uh, like a native speaker and it's possible um, helps knowing uh, what I don't think is possible is let's say uh, mastering perfectly more than three languages so I speak Italian, I speak English and I speak a little bit of Greek and Esperanto I used to speak French also that very well but not now so I, I would say that I go for English and Italian and uh, well I keep try to keep my Greek and Esperanto uh, effective and have a working knowledge of these languages and when I say working knowledge uh, I say high level um, because the, 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 the level I see on the web except for those show offers I, guess I would say is not that good well uh, I understand well I don't want to be part of this uh, I'm more focused on music you see all this recorders and guitars and ukuleles well <sighs> that's music and I think that's more interesting than speaking languages uh, in spite of the fact that I like languages I like speaking English, Italian uh, my kind of perfection is so sticklers for detail uh, and I try and that's why I don't often speak Esperanto and Greek often times okay.